uh, management team. I understand. Yeah. That sounds really nice. That sounds really nice. Are you going to, is that like a national, international meeting or something? Yeah, I have people in, in Argentina, in Venezuela, uh -huh. in Ecuador, uh, Mexico, Toronto, yeah. and, and, and I create the offsite and nice. it's very, very difficult. So there are English speakers, right? No, 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 no. All Spanish speakers? Yeah, uh, the the person uh, live in in Toronto is is Argentine. Argentinian. Argentinian. Yeah. Argentinian. Uh -huh. and, and, Very interesting. Yeah, and the company uh, ever say it's Mexican company and only speak Spanish. That's very nice. Wow. Because yeah. many, many companies are the opposite. And that's super, super nice to hear a company. A company is, is including Spanish, no? Yeah. It's very nice. Very good, Cesar. Very, very nice. Well, in this moment, let's continue the practice. Today, we are going to practice a topic that we saw yesterday. And this is the topic that you have in the, on the screen. Ooh, reflexives. The topic are reflexives. When is necessary to use a reflexive? In what occasion is necessary to use a reflexive? Okay. Okay. So please take a screenshot because this is going to be fundamental for today's practice. Okay. In the case of Hector two, Hector two, this was yesterday's class. Uh, Lau and Charlie. We are going to make examples, and obviously. We were practicing. We were practicing uh, reflexives with a specific verbs, no? Transitive verbs, verbs that need a secondary person, no? In the previous classes, we practiced with bring, cause, give, lend, offer, pass, and play. Today, we are going to continue with the verb. Teach. Okay. Let's start with Laurita. Give me an example using teach, but you need to use a reflexive. The most important part is to understand yes. when the subject and the object are the same person. Can you think of an example when you Taught yourself? Mm -hmm. I, I taught mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. to use the computer. Wow. I love that example. Yes, yes. of course, because there is no well exist as schools for computers, no? Yes. But this is a, this is a specific ability of you. Mm -hmm. yes. You taught yourself to use a computer. Very nice. Yes. I, uh, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Now let's create conversation with Charlie. Question Charlie using the verb teach. Teach yourself. Uh, I ask a uh, Charlie to I Charlie. Ask to Charlie. Mm -hmm. Hello, Charlie. Do you? Hello. Hola. Hello. Do you um, teach no, mm -hmm. yourself some? Is this a question in English? No, sorry, no. In a question in past or in present? In past. In okay. past. So did what is you, your auxiliary? Okay. Exactly. Did you teach um, yourself some? Some what? Something. Something. Very good. Complete with conviction. Okay. Did you 
teach yourself something? Very good question. Did you teach yourself something, Charlie? Um, yes, I teach my I teach myself mm -hmm. um, how um, teach a, a, a drive my motorcycle. Oh, interesting. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So let's eliminate something, man. The, uh, drive the motorcycle, substitute something. Okay. Right. I, I, I teach myself motorcycle. Hmm. Drive motorcycle. Drive motorcycle, exactly. Yes. Now, are you speaking in past or in present? In past. In past, no? And what is the past of teach? Touch. <laughs> what is the past no, of teach? No, no, sorry. Teach, teach. <gasps> Jesus Christ. No? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> very, very bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you irregular verbs. <laughs> The verb teach is in pattern number six. Uh -huh. Pronunciation? Taught. Aha. Uh -huh. Taught. Remember that the G, the G doesn't sound. Look at the symbols. Ot. Taught. So pronunciation? Taught. Uh -huh. The G doesn't sound. Taught. Taught. G -g -g no. G -g -g. no, it's not necessary. Tot. 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 Ah, exactly. Teach tot tot. Teach tot tot. tot. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. So complete idea. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> complete idea. Did you teach yourself something? Yes, I taught mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. and drive my motorcycle. Exactly, man. That is a correct example. <laughs> Very good. Let's go to the next. Charlie, ask a question to Caesar using the verb write. Remember, you need okay. to use the reflexive. Okay. For Can example, okay. Uh -huh. um, did you? Right, wrote um, yourself any book of your life. Okay. In this okay. Case, it, it, it's uh, necessary uh, say my uh, yourself and and your life, or, or is uh, no important. No, it's it's a nice compliment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. It's a nice compliment, but I have a question. Are you speaking about number one or number two? Number one is the person, the subject and the object are the same person. And number two, when Caesar is writing alone, without help. Now is the first. The first. Yes. Okay, so let's check the formula. <coughs> Repeat your question. Did you wrote, did you write uh, any book yourself? Ah, okay, about your life. Yes. Ah, you need a connector. What is the connector for information? Bye. Mm, this is the connector for lonely, alone. Yes. Different. Um, two. No. About. About. Mm -hmm. About. If the book is about Caesar, the book is. Your phone? Incomplete and the connector? Uh, about Caesar? Aha, uh -huh. about Caesar. Eliminate Caesar? 
Can you give me a reflexive? About yourself? Exactly, man. Complete question. Okay. Can you quote any book yourself? Hmm. And the connector for information? Uh, any book about yourself. Aha. That's correct. Complete conviction. Let's go. Okay. Did you wrote um, any book about yourself? Excellent question. Caesar? Mm, I I didn't, but I I have a a plan for bright in the future for uh, for myself. For myself. By, by myself. By? No. Uh, I, mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a question. By no. or for about what? Mm, by. Okay, so alone. Yeah, I I, I am, uh, I will write alone in my desk. Ah, okay, 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 okay. And, and I have a reflection for my life and write for uh, by myself. Okay, good. Pronunciation. Let's talk about this word. Okay, reflection. Exactly. Uh, 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 uh. Pronunciation? Reflection. 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 Exactly. Reflection. Reflection. That's reflection. correct. So, one more time, repetition. Yeah, um, I didn't write. Um, by myself, but mm -hmm. not for myself. You didn't write what? I didn't write a book. A book. And the compliment? For myself. Incorrect. The Charlie's question was By different. Mm -hmm. What is a connector for content, for information? Two. Content. No, two two is, is for the verbs. What connector do you use when you want to know the content of a book. The? No. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm. Is? Charlie, can you help us? Is is not a connector. Is is a mm. verb. Yeah. What was the connector necessary, Charlie? About? Exactly. Can you repeat the question? Did you wrote? Did you write uh, any book about yourself? Exactly. About okay. yourself. Yeah, I didn't write a book about myself. Excellent. But. But I have a project for. Uh, in the future, bright. Who right? Person, birth, compliment. I, I, in the future, I, bra I, bright. Are you talking about the future or present? Uh, future will. I will bright. Mm -hmm. By myself. I, you will write what? I write for my life. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 write what? A book. Oh, what about a book? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one more time. Yes. But um, I I have a project. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in the future, I will write a book mm -hmm. by myself for my life. By myself for my life. For is a connector for presence, for you, for me. Okay. Are you about you are about, uh, my, about my life. Complete. Yeah. Okay. Um. I I didn't I didn't uh, write about myself a book of, about myself. Yes. But I have a project 
in the future I will write a book about my life. <laughs> that is English, sir. You see how it's super important that you select your connector, eh? Similar problem with Charlie and Caesar. You need to check what connector is necessary. For, about, to. They have different applications. Yeah. Right? This is super important. Very good, Cesar. Easy. Let's pass to the next. Easy. <laughs> yes, of course. Super easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> now you ask a question to Hector using the verb by. Me? Yes, you. Okay, Hector. Um, hi, Hector. Um, can you buy um, any clothes by yourself? Oh, interesting. Alone, no? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> hello. Um, yes, I can buy uh, any any cloth mm -hmm. by my uh, any cloth uh, to myself. Oh, watch out! The connector is fundamental. Caesar said, "Buy, not to." The connector ah, okay. changes the, the context. It's a different context. It's, uh, yes, I, I can buy any cloth uh, by myself. Exactly. That's correct. If you say to myself, it's because it's like a present from me to me. You know? Yeah. I buy this cell phone to myself. It's because I buy the cell phone for me. You see? But if I say buy myself, is I don't need help. Right? Mm. I don't need help. So what is the intention? No help or for you? Yeah, for you, uh, uh, for example, is when um a uh, night, Christmas night, when I give to you a present. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. When you give to me a present, is from me to you. Yeah. So if you say to myself, it's a present. You see. Yeah. Eliminate to and collocate by, and it's a different different context. Okay. All right. So, Hector, can you repeat your answer? Do you, can you buy clothes by yourself? Like a, like an adult, a big boy? Um, yes, I can buy uh some clothes uh, by myself excellent that's correct hector ask a question to laurita using the verb get in this case get okay. is definition number one obtain okay hello laurita hello um could you get um could you get a gift for your son? Mm -hmm. Your example for was yourself. For... Uh -huh, exactly. You, you need uh -huh. to use for yourself. Reflexes. Okay, okay. Repetition. <laughs> Uh, Laurita, could you get uh, a gift for your son, uh, for yourself? Or is for your son or is for yourself? 
You have the old person there. Only one. For for yourself. For yourself. Ajá. So it's a present for her, no? From uh -huh. Laurita to Laurita. Okay, you are correct. Um, yes, I would. I would get kit uh, for my, for myself. Good. Gift is countable, Laurita. What is necessary? Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, I would get the the kit. Uh oh, it's countable. The kit. A kit. A gift, exactly. A kit. A kit for myself. For myself, complete idea. Yes, I would get a kit for myself. Perfect. That sounds excellent. Very good job. Let's continue. Laurita, ask a question to Charlie using verb make. Did you did you make pancake pancakes for yourself? Sounds good, eh? Can you pancake, let's pancakes, pancakes? Okay. Let's, let's change the order and let's collocate yourself in the position of the pancakes. Switch. Usually. Usually reflexives go after the verb. Ah, okay. Okay, yes, I do right. understand. Mm -hmm. Action. Do you make um, cakes yourself? Oh, switch. You need the reflexive goes after the verb. Okay, a ver. Do you? Mm -hmm. Do you? You is the subject. Bear is the okay. Make. Make, aha. Uh -huh. Make who? Yourself. Exactly. Do you make yourself? Cakes. Complement, exactly. Cakes. Pancakes, no? You said pancakes. Pancakes. Pan Excellent. Uh -huh. Give me a time expression. Is correct pancakes? Pancakes is pancake. correct. Pancakes okay. is correct. Now give me context. Today, tomorrow, every day, um, yesterday, when? Today, okay. Today. Do you do you make your pancakes today? Excellent, Laurita. Good question. Okay, um, today I don't uh, make pancakes myself, but I love uh, uh, kitchen. Hmm. Yes, it, you love kitchen. Correct. Kitchen is the uh, cocina. Mm -hmm. Kitchen is the room. Okay. What is the action? Can you help us, guys? How do you say cocina in English, guys? Help. Make. Uh -huh. Can cook. you repeat? Exactly. Yes, it's our cook. Bake, Laurita, is for, for a okay. different... Okay. Uh -huh. Exist, but it's for a different type. Yes. yes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yes, of course, for cakes, for bread, for... Lasagna. Of... Lasagna, uh -huh. you bake a lasagna. Uh -huh. But in pancakes, you cook. Okay. Okay. So mm. re uh, repeat, Charlie. Okay. In this moment today, I, I don't have, I don't, I don't make uh, myself uh, pancakes. Very good. But, uh, I love uh, cook. I, I love cook. Things. Do you remember what connector is necessary for two verbs, Charlie? For two what? Verbs. 
Perfect. Dice, I love to cook. Ajá. I love to cook. Exactly. Complete. One more time. Repetition. <laughs> okay. Okay. Today, I don't, I don't make myself uh, pancakes, but I love to cook. Fantastic. Everything. Uh, everything. everything. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good, good job. Very, very good. Charlie, ask a question to Caesar using the verb. Oh, this is a new verb, new vocabulary. What is O? Who knows O? Uh, I don't know what is O. No? <laughs> I think that's not a problem. This is a B2 vocabulary, so this is like difficult. To give? Close, no. No. Possession? Can you repeat, Caesar? When someone no. um, um, borrow uh, money. Okay, and then what happens when someone borrows money? Uh, you, they, he need the money back. Exactly, very good, Elsie. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Motivation for Elsie. We have a new, new participation. Very nice. Let's imagine, guys. Let's imagine that I take 20 pesos from Cesar. Cesar then tells me, my 20 pesos, Fernando. <laughs> so I owe Cesar 20 pesos. You see? Because I took the 20 pesos. So now I owe the 20 pesos. I need to pay. When you need to pay, you owe. In Spanish, like uh, devolver? No. No, no. no it's devolver. Anyone? You need to pay. When 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 you you go to uh, Electra, <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. And, and and buy a uh, cell phone, for example, for uh, example. So in a credit, in a credit, yeah, okay. you you owe some you, money to Electra. You owe the cell phone to Electra. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You owe money to Electra. Because because you have a new cell phone for a credit, correct, and and, and, and the terminated time, you pay it, uh, the any any anything, money, you know. Exactly, any money, anything any money. is different. Any money, any money and you you owe the. Yeah, you owe. You owe? Uh -huh. You see as that? You owe the cell phone. When you give a credit, when you have a credit, when you borrow money, when you uh, when you do a favor, I owe you one. <laughs> yeah. You see? That's another example. Yes, Laurita, yes, Charlie. Yes. Yes, right. teacher. What is O in Spanish? Yeah, Excellent. Charlie, ask a question to Cesar using the verb O. Okay, Cesar, and uh, did you owe anything? Um, Um, himself no. Oh, again. Did you what? Did you owe yourself anything for any store? Nice. Very good. Very good question, man. 
Okay. Um, no, I I didn't. I I didn't have on. Oh, oh on is different with on. It's a, a, a yeah oh oh uh -huh. only oh I I didn't have all because I had I hate eliminate half uh, is redundant no 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 it's an extra verb oh is not similar to half and half is a different verb. Okay, uh, I didn't owe. I didn't owe. In past or in present? Mm, in present. Present, no? Because past is a uh, specific situation. Yeah, I don't owe. Yes. I don't owe because I hate the credit card, for example. <laughs> Very good. Come on, credit cards are amazing. Uh, I don't know, teacher. I uh, only I use uh, effective cash. In cash. Only I only only use cash. Excellent. Only cash. Very good. Only cash. <laughs> Excellent, Caesar. Ask a question to. Ask a question to Elsie. Why not, Elsie? Can you? Answer? Not sure. <laughs> ah, okay, so Caesar, ask a question to Elsie using the verb pay. Hello, Elsie. Um, why um, you don't pay me your own? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. But oh, oh, you need to use a reflexive, Caesar. Oh, You're okay. practicing reflexives. Mm, reflexive. Mm, please, please uh, change the slide, teacher, for... Sure. For reflexives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, why... Uh, why... Wait, when you want to sign the subject, because... Okay, no. Uh, why you don't pay um, yourself? Oh, yourself. Oh, eliminate. Oh, oh is a verb. Okay. You need uh, a complement. In, in in this in this case, how do you say uh, deudas? Ah, excellent question. Deudas in English is debt. 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 Okay. Why uh, you don't pay yourself debt? Yourself debt. Uh oh, we have a question. You cannot, if you have a debt, you have a debt with a different person, know yourself. Mm, for example, um, mm, for a context, uh -huh. um, mm, an imaginary situation when I pay that that's LC. Uh -huh. and, and I have um, a, a very um, very bad emotion, uh, uh, for example, uh, negative emotion. Okay. Because LC uh, never pay yours. Mm -hmm. Her. 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 Her uh, debts. Okay. And and I question uh, and and I have a question. Elsie, mm -hmm. why you don't pay Any, yours? Anyway, anyway, the, the, the debt is with you, not herself. 
and, and the, ref the reflexive is when the subject and the object are the same person. Yeah, but I I needed the word for in Spanish deudas or sus propias deudas. That's right, but this is impossible in English. Is my debts finish? Oh my god. In English is is possessive. You are thinking about a possession. This is not a possession. This is a duplicate person. Person number one affects person number two. I affect myself. In this case, I pay myself. In what situations Elsie pays herself? Mm, in the situation when Elsie is a uh, 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 um, responsible for of her debts. Mm -hmm. Again, you need to eliminate debts <laughs> because debts are for a different person. The yeah. complement is a problem. Yeah, my uh, yeah, I need uh, the other complement because. I I want Seth her her um her debts her debts <laughs> mm -hmm. so debts is impossible you need to change the change the context change okay. the story okay I am um, I I am um, I have the other example action. Um, Elsie, why you don't pay your cell phone? Food? Food. Okay, interesting. Why you don't pay yourself food? Elsie? Um, I don't pay my, my food because my husband pay for... <laughs> Excellent. For, <laughs> <laughs> excellent excellent Very good. if you are speaking in present Elsie, you need to change the verb i pay you pay and he she it <coughs> can you repeat that please yes if you pay or you speak in Spanish, in present yeah. you need to say pay in a different form i pay you pay he, she, it. Ah, he pays. Pays, very good. So I, let's repeat your idea. Yeah. I don't pay my food because my husband pays for, for it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent example. Very good, Elsie. Very, very good. Similar question goes to Hector. Hector? Do you pay yourself a day in the spa? Yes, I pay um, the, the spa. Okay, but uh, how do you say? For my, for my... Self. For myself, okay, eliminate for and switch. Let's look at the formula, it's subject, verb, reflexive. Ah, okay, uh, myself? Uh -uh. Subject? No, 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 it's, it's, it's I, I, myself for... Myself. Uh -huh. I pay, I pay uh, myself for uh, uh, <laughs> concentration, <laughs> concentration. <laughs> okay, I pay, I uh, 
myself for uh for for is for for it uh, <laughs> okay for it that's for a good solution it is for it that's a good solution yeah okay very nice very very good which it is the day in the spa no okay yeah that was the thing <laughs> no the pro, that, that's a good idea because we are practicing pronouns and pronouns substitute information that you don't repeat no repetition no repetition so that was a good strategy very good actor now question i want you to ask a question to laurita hector use the verb promise but creation eh? you cannot say myself okay. you cannot say yourself please practice himself and herself so you need to speak about a different person her husband her son her family you know her friends her teacher okay <laughs> Okay, yeah. it's difficult. Yes. Um, because yourself Laurita. is easy. Yes, it's very easy. Laurita, can you do a promise? Uh oh, oh, eliminate do. The verb is promise. Uh, okay. Can you promise for your for your husband? Can you promise for your uh, husband? We have a problem. We are confused. For your husband. Confused. Confused. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. The subject needs to be the same person of the object. So in this case, you cannot say you. What person corresponds to you, the husband? Himself. Uh, exactly. He. He and himself. So eliminate you, eliminate I. The person is he. Okay. It's, uh, well, my question is, for example, uh, the Laurita uh, has a has a promise for uh, has a promise uh, to husband wake up to run a wake up to what uh, wake up to run at mm -hmm. five yeah five five o'clock okay perfect so that's excellent so you can say the subject is her husband her husband uh -huh. yes mm -hmm. uh, action, action. i believe i believe second, no, no. no finish no finish just a second oh. ah okay no 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 no, no. No, no, it's um, to <laughs> uh, Laurita, your your husband. Now, your husband can't. Your husband can't wake up to run at five o'clock for herself. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Your husband has to wake up for yeah. I... Wait, wait. Herself is feminine. 
himself. Himself, exactly. Now, position. Subject, verb, reflexive. Subject? Your your husband. Your husband, exactly. Birth. Your husband wake up. Wake up, excellent. Wake, wake up, up to run. Wake up who? Wake up. Wake up herself. Herself is feminine. Himself. Himself, himself, exactly. And now analysis, question or affirmation? Question. Question, what is necessary for the question? Mm. Can, can, can or? Close, is not can, is the auxiliary, you know? In the auxiliary, you need do or oh, does. No, it's in present because it's every every morning. Ah, okay, yes. He's oh. uh, do he does. Yes. Does. Does. Does your does your husband? Yes. Does your, host, does your husband uh, wake up to run? Uh -huh. Wake up himself? to run? Uh, himself. Uh -oh. himself. Uh, Order. Again, again, uh, again. Subject, verb, reflexive. Wake up who? Wake up to run. Wake up who? Wake up. Ah, okay. Wait, wait, wake up, wake up himself to exactly. run yes, at five o'clock. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Very, very good. Complete with conviction. So Laurita can understand. One, two, three. Laurita, her husband cop uh, himself to run at five o'clock. Fantastic job. Excellent. This is the correct position. Lorita, does your husband wake up himself to run at five o'clock? Yes. My husband wake up himself. I wake up, run. you wake up, and he? He? Ah. Yes. My husband wakes wakes up Excellent. himself to run at five o'clock. Fantastic job. Fantastic job. Very good. Wow. You are practicing yourself, himself, herself. That is correct. People, this is excellent. Give me a pause because Jessie is in the class. She will pass attendance. Hello, Jessie. Hi, thank you. Good night. Hello. So, I will take attendance, please. Eh, Grecia. Thank Grecia, you. absent. Hector. Hello, good night. Hi, thank you. Good night. Thank you to be here. La hello? Present. Hello, good night. Hello, good night. Hello. Isti? Isti, absent. All right. Yanis? Janice. Absent too? Ah, no, yes, he's absent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Raul? Raul, absent. Carlos? Here, yeah, Raul. Hi, Carlos. Thank you. Good night. And Cesar. Hello, Yasin. How are you? Hi, Cesar. No, oh, fine. Soso. Thank you, Cesar. Soso. Come on, Soso. <laughs> Attitude. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It is it, uh, night Friday. It's Friday, you see. Yes, I'm fine. But I am, but I am not a social, <laughs> social person. <laughs> Very well. Yeah, this is not a limit. Exactly. 
It's not a limit. It's it's Friday for uh, movies, uh, sleep too much. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks to you, girl. Thanks a Thanks lot. Thanks for staying. And welcome. Bye. Elsie. Elsie. Bye. Thank you, Jesse. You're welcome. So, have a nice night and good weekend. You too, girl. Thank you very See much. See you. Excellent, guys. All right. Let's continue practicing herself, your, uh, himself, before we go. Okay? Laurita, ask a question to Charlie. But remember, eliminate you and eliminate I. Think about a different person. Yes. Mm. Hello, Charlie. Hi, Lau. Mm. Does, does your brother mm -hmm. <clears throat> pro, promise, mm -hmm. promise himself mm -hmm. uh, to, to wake up? early mm -hmm. in the morning that's a very good question very very good question promise himself to wake up in the morning no early no early in the morning early early in the morning i like your example very good um well i don't brothers on the um, <laughs> I don't what brothers. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't brothers. Uh oh, incomplete. Person verb complement. I don't. Uh huh. And the verb have brothers. Exactly. Yes. I don't have brothers. Only okay. sisters. Only sisters. Okay. Yes. Um. Uh, him, himself mm -hmm. himself is masculine is himself himself is masculine herself herself very good um my sisters herself um, don't promise get uh, early, get up early every day. Very nice. Now, let's organize your formula. Is person, verb, reflexive. So, my sister. My sisters. Okay, is plural? Sí, yes. Ah, okay. This is super interesting. Plural woman and plural men necessary themselves, no herself, no himself. Okay. When you speak about plural people, the person is they. Okay. okay. Corresponding themselves. Okay. Yes. Repetition. My sisters um, get get up mm -hmm. themselves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I promise, huh? Okay, yes. Um, yes, I, my sisters promised mm -hmm. themselves. Yeah. But you're speaking in negative, no? Yes. What happened to the memory, Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, my sisters never wow. promised. The, themselves uh, get up early every day every day excellent very good very very good what an excellent excellent example finally charlie ask a question to caesar with the verb Refuse. Do you remember refuse? No, I don't know. 
Refuse is the contrary to accept. Refuse is the contrary to accept. Okay. Hmm? Action. Um, Cesar. Uh, your boss. Um, if we have refused. Uh, himself. Okay, refuse himself. He was refused himself. Uh, any, um, what did you say, aumento? Very good question. Aumento in English is called, do you know guys, anyone? How do you say aumento in English? Um, promotion. Increment. Promotion. Increment is different. Okay. Different for for taxes probably for prices. But when you're talking about the job, is a raise. Yes. Let's take a. This is the noun. Raise now. When you get a raise you receive more money. Oh. New vocabulary. So? Mm -hmm. Charlie? Okay. Again, the question is to both himself and any race many race hmm are you uh oh okay again 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 what can you repeat uh, your example you, your boss your boss himself refused no yes 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 your your boss himself your refused boss himself refused any any race uh, something? Any race what? Any 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 race sometime. Sometime. Ah okay. In the past, sometime in the past, no? Yes. Okay. Is this a question or an affirmation? Question. Present or past? Past. What is necessary? Um the auxiliary. What is auxiliary in past? Deal. Very good. Easy peasy. Very nice. Complete. Okay. Correction. Okay, correction. Did you did your boss himself? No, is does your boss himself? No, does is present. What? Does is present. Oh no, is did. did. Sorry. Uh -huh. sorry, sorry. Did your boss himself refuse? Uh, Refuse a rice or no, refuse a rice is correct? Yes, of course. Refuse a rice. Um, any uh, uh, sometimes? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Excellent example. Very good example. <laughs> what do you answer, Caesar? Mm, no, he, he didn't. Um, He didn't. Uh, but what is the pair form for you use? Hmm, memory. Decline. What is the contrary for accept? It's in front of you, eh? Ah, uh, refuse. Yeah. Pronunciation. Uh, refuse. Ah, excellent. Okay. 
Uh, no, he didn't uh, refuse. Uh -huh. uh himself he didn't he refused um, himself yeah he, uh, he didn't uh, refuse himself my oh my god what is the new verb is that a verb no the uh, the new action the new noun the new noun uh -huh. race race oh, look at the symbol <laughs> Right. Uh, he didn't uh, refuse himself my race. Watch out, watch out, watch out. The position of himself is relevant in this case. Yeah, because uh, he take he he take a decision. He for, took a past, past, he took a decision. He took a decision for uh, alone. Alone, but not only, not only. In in um, Charlie's example, this uh, this is an emphasis. Okay. You see. Yeah. This is structure number three. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Um. Uh. He. He himself. Uh -huh. didn't yes. he himself didn't refuse uh -huh. what is refuse no uh, refuse excuse me Re Re refuse look at the symbol what is the symbol over here yeah so fear, fear, refuse. Aha, uh -huh. refuse. Okay. Uh, he himself didn't refuse my race mm -hmm. because I give he. He refused. Whoa, 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 whoa! What happened? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he he him he himself uh, didn't refuse refuse my race. My race finish. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. The rest was probably compliment, no? But but first, 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 the principal information. Yeah, but 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 you don't uh, uh, think uh, have a think bad. Have a think bad. But uh, have a uh, 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 bad thoughts. Ah, okay. You <laughs> have bad thoughts. That's correct, man. Yes, of course. Never, never, brother. <laughs> My people, we finished. What a crazy practice. You are using new verbs, new formulas, new structures. You are practicing too much. Let's relax for a moment. Happy Friday. I'll see you on Monday. Okay? Thank you, Chir. Have a nice Thank weekend, you. guys. You too. See you later, it guys. Bye-bye, guys. See you guys. on Monday. All Good right, night. see you on Monday. Everybody. Good night. Good night, teacher.